going to get into, and I, I think we, we both stated this earlier, I mean, this is one that kind of started the, the, the fervor. I mean, if you look at the radio room now, a few months hence, it's obviously been and will continue to be a, a huge I, hit for you guys. I am so proud of this. I mean, I be. am. This was my baby. I, I, I'm very proud of it. Um, it was the first um, custom, proprietary, whatever word you want, an exclusive watch done for the detente watch group, our company. Um, and I, uh, you know, I, I'm so excited about how it's been received. Um, I have, there, there, I mean, this watch has fans, you know, <laughs> you know, I, and, and absolutely we have four executions now. I have many, many customers who've bought all four executions and, and we are waiting for the next ones to come out. This is becoming a collector series and I'm very proud of that. When we first brought this one out, we brought it out on the leather. And I will honestly tell you, at the beginning, I always intended this to just be on leather. By the way, there's only, this is a 300 series in the original uh, uh, yellow and blue. So it's only 300 built for the world. And I had so many guys on Facebook. And by the way, if you want to find me on Facebook, you can either find me as Craig Hester or you look up the Watch Comrade on Facebook with a K and you'll find me and I'd like our page and you'll get all my updates there. I had so many guys email me, Facebook me, why don't you put this on that seven length bracelet? Please put this on that seven length bracelet, blah, 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 mm -hmm. ask me for it. So here it is. So for those of you who ask, now that said, you know, you can get this on leather at 245, it's 429 on the bracelet, why? I'm going to let Tim explain because I know how much he loves the Vostok Europe bracelets. I do love the Vostok Europe bracelets, and I think for very good reason. First of all, one of the things, and let's talk, again, I know there's going to be limited time here, but l let's talk a little bit about bracelet builds. Uh, where do we get? Okay, let's talk hollow versus solid uh, for right. starters. Um, and it's solid end links on this, too. Yes. Now, when we hear, and it's not just with, with me, with, with any host that, that's showing you guys watches or, or any of our knowledgeable guests, that they're going to hear, often they refer to solid lake. What you will very rarely hear us refer to is hollow lake. Um, frankly, I'm not a fan of hollow link. Uh, yes, you could argue it does make things make way more affordable. I see your point. I just find them long term, they don't last that well, and they're frankly not comfortable. Because a hollow link, the best way I can describe it is if you remember the, uh, like for example, construction paper. Uh, uh, chains you would make in third grade or whatever, and, and uh, it, it's sort of like that. They take metal, not even necessarily steel, and they just make these hollow links out of them by folding them, and it's supposed to fool you, uh, or more, not so much you, but when you're wearing it, people are supposed to think it's a solid link, and of course it's not. And the advantage of, of the solid is pretty much everything. It, it weighs more, it feels better on the wrist, properly finished like this. It, it, it's absolutely extraordinarily comfortable. And they're designed to last and last and last and last. And then you get into the artistry. Now, when you're further building bracelets, you can go the more expensive route, the one that collectors want, the one that the connoisseurs want, which is the hand-built multi-link bracelet. Frankly, you can get not identical, but a similar look to this, if you built a single link. Now, how you would right. build this in a single link, which this is not, but if I wanted to make this a whole lot less costly to myself as a builder, I would just have a mold, or maybe I'm doing it with CNC, but probably just mold it, uh, because after all, now we're talking price point, that I would just make a single link, and the link would do a zigzag thing. And we would sculpt it a little bit, and when you put the one zigzag into the next, it initially would look like a seven. It's not a seven link, it would just look like it. So why this? Well, part of what you're buying is the artistry of this, because this is done entirely by hand. Machines cannot do this. Furthermore, notice in this specific model that you cannot exchange link for link. Right. Because of the angle. Can you see what we're talking about here where there's basically kind of this arc thing that's going on? Mm -hmm. That's created by the physical custom shape of the link. So certain links go to certain places in right. this to create the finished mathematics and the finished uh, geometry, I guess, is, is a better way to describe it. So ultimately, hand assembled with seven links across, you've actually not only got the flex this way, you have what in nautical terms is called uh, yaw, uh, which is the more or less this twisting sort of emotion, mm -hmm. which means... When I put this on, no matter what I'm doing in the course of the day, this is going to flex this way, and you've also got the motion this way. It's about comfort, but at the same time with the elegance and, and the strength, and there's, there's a real grace and a finesse uh, uh, to this. That's why the bracelets cost what they cost when they are built properly. So hopefully that's 
I, that's Help. a great explanation. And in the minute we have, I want to quickly explain that this is the radio room. It is named for the act that after the Titanic went down so that there is those uh, areas of radio silence. That's what those wedges are for. That was the inspiration. Why did we do this in a Russian watch? Sitting in front of me is the clock that comes out of the Russian ships. The movement in this clock is made by the same company that builds the movement that's in the watch. This dial was the inspiration for the radio room watch. So the blue and the yellow were the first two we did when we did them on leather. We've got them on leather again tonight. I don't know if we're actually going to air them. Uh, they've sold out every time. Now's your opportunity for those who ask by popular demand to get it on the seven link custom bracelet. And it is uh, sharp. As you can see, we're in, inside a 20 event. I think there's uh, literally 19 of them uh, right now. That is the actual clock, by the way. Yes, it is. Are seeing. That was my inspiration right there. You can tell it's the real thing because it's beat to heck. I, I know you're not <laughs> ready to do this, but it, at, at some point, I, I would almost say you should like, bring it on the show and make it available. I'm thinking that maybe do like a, a charity auction or something on it. But well, that just not... Now, at some point in, in yeah, the no, future. I know what you're saying. Like, uh, I have the original Lupa that was ever made. I think at some.